Hello everybody and welcome back to the NCL, the Nimbasa City League. Uh, this week I am versing Phantom Blade and the Band of the Halucha. Um, he's bringing the Araquanid, the Nido King, the Sneasel, um, the uh, Chandelure, Milotic, and the Halucha. And I'm bringing a Focus Sash, Nasty Plot, Salazzle, um, a Offensive, Mega Pidgeot, um, Arium Z, um, Aerodactyl, a uh, Red Card on the Cresselia, Dragon Dance, Yachi Berry, um, Zygarde and Choice Scarf, Mold Breaker, Excadrill. Um, and looking at the team he's bought compared to the team I bought, I do not really have anything for the Melodic. I don't know what I was thinking in prep, um, because like no matter what, Melodic's a pretty good bring against my team. Um, so yeah, that's uh, definitely going to be a problem to break through. Otherwise... I feel like Aerodactyl, um, Excadrill, Zygarde, and even Cresselia can put in a bit of work. Cresselia with the red card is there, uh, physically defensive with Calm Mind, I believe it is, um, to like take a attack from the Halucha um, if he sets up on something like my Excadrill's um, locked into uh, Earthquake. Um, and then, like, we'll knock him out and get rid of his boosts. Um, but yeah, I guess we will just start the match and see how we did. I do start with my Aerodactyl, as he's going to start with Melodic. Um, which, I mean, Melodic lead should have been pretty obvious to me, really. Um, so, having Aerodactyl in here is not the best for me. I mean, uh, Cresselia lead could have been alright, um, but like, I don't really have anything for this Melodic, so I'm hopefully just going to have to try and um, try and wear it down. Uh, I'm going to get my Stealth Rocks up though, and uh, I knew I wasn't going to die to a Scold, but I do get burnt, and that basically makes my Aerodactyl useless from here on out, so I'm just going to get my Flame Z off. Um, and sack it off, but he's going to get his burn, um, and get his, what, what ability is that? I'm not sure. The one that makes it so damage is doubled when got a status effect or whatever, and like a burnt, um, Aerodactyl to a burnt Melodic is not going to be doing anything. Um, but that does allow me to bring my Cresselia in. And it allows me to get a Calm Mind off. Now, at this point, I just had to hope that he didn't have um, Haze or Dragon Tail, anything like that, to stop my boosts. But he's going to Toxic up. Luckily, that does not matter to me, because I am a Rest, Sleep Talk, Calm Mind, Moonblast set. It does get a bit walled by some of his things on his team, but it also does pretty well against some other things on his team. Um, if I can get some Calm Minds up and then Rest... And the way he switched out there made me think that he didn't really have anything to uh, phase out my Cresselia, so that allows me to get a rest off and just um, keep setting up. He does get his webs up, which is a bit annoying, but I do have Cresselia and the Pidgeot that aren't affected by it, and I do have Rapid Spin on my Excadrill. Um, I'm going to get a Moonblast off. It doesn't do a lot, but then that Leech Life doesn't do that much back to me, and... Like, I can definitely stall that out and uh, get some rest. But he does bring in the Nido King now. Um, and he switches out as I switch out. Like, obviously he was fearing, like, a Psychic or something like that. But I, my only offensive move was the Moonblast. Because that hit a lot of his stuff. He does bring the Chandelure in there. Uh, which brings, allows me, like, I, I did uh, make a good switch there. And, um in getting my Excadrill in, and that just gives me a free Earthquake, because the only thing that comes in on that is Halucha, and uh, 
there's no way that he's going to know if I'm going to like lock myself into Earthquake or Rock Slide or what. But I do get a nice Earthquake off on this um, Melodic, which is nice. Uh, it brings it down real low. And um, so it doesn't get an opportunity to recover either. Uh, he's going to bring the Hellwitch in on the Earthquake, and I'm obviously locked, so I can't do anything. But that does allow me to bring the Porygon, uh, my Cresselia Porygon 3 back in as well, as he gets up a um, sword stance on the switch out, and then another sword stance on my sleep talk. But <laughs> I get rest here. Um, getting Calm Mind or Moonblast would have been uh, much better for me here because I wouldn't have had to um, die to this uh, Halucha. My Cresselia would have, I feel like, at plus one special attack, that would have killed the um, Halucha there, or after another Moonblast, it would have killed the Halucha there. Either way, um, with a Calm Mind or a Moonblast on the Sleep Talk before, that, that Halucha would have gone down, but that's that's all right. A bit unlucky, but what can you do? That does allow me to bring in my Salazzle, who has the Focus Sash, take a hit, no matter what, and stop this uh, Halucha from just sweeping straight through me. It's excellent. I'm not going to go down to a 6-0, that's for sure. And he brings in the um, Sneasel here, which just ice shards my Salazzle. Nothing I can do about that. I didn't want to bring in my Pidgeot, my Zygarde, or my Excadrill on a um, ice shard. There's no way I wanted to take that on any of them at this point. Um, but that does allow me to bring in the Pidgeot, as he's going to switch out and sack off the uh, Melodic. So Pidgeot brings up and gets a kill. That's nice. Uh, he knew he wasn't going to kill me with um, Ice Shard on the Sneasel, and I would have killed with Hurricane or Hidden Power Rock. Um, and um, I would have been faster, so he wouldn't have been able to Icicle Crash me either, I believe, like unless it was Scarf, but uh, I think I'd seen at this point that it wasn't. Either way... He brings in the Nido King, which I, at this point, believe is Scarfed. So I'm just going to switch out here um, into what I think was going to take his moves the best, assuming he wasn't going to go for Earthquake, which I didn't think he was going to because I had the um, P-Shot in. And yeah, he goes for the Head Smash, and uh, I take that well. And I get a nice Earthquake off on the Switch because he doesn't have anything that can dodge Earthquakes anymore. Uh, I get a nice 32% uh, on that roll. And then I look, he's at 30%, go for another Earthquake. And I get, I don't know, low rolled, I guess, uh, which allows this um, Araquanid to live and take out my Excadrill, which is really sad because I believe Excadrill at that point probably could have uh, cleaned up. But that does allow um, me to get the Hurricane off, and uh, Pidgeot is going to get another kill here, which is pretty cool. Um, now here, I like I believe Nido King does get Ice Beam, and like all I have left is the uh, Pidgeot and the Zygarde. Um, but like as we've seen. This Nido King t seems to be just going for the physical moves. So, um, I also wanted to see if it was Scarfed. So, I kind of had to uh, just go with my Pidgeot, go for Hurricane, which would have taken out if it wasn't faster than me. But we do find out it is Scarfed. It goes for Head Smash and just 100% takes me out. It takes a lot of damage itself. But that is going to give me. Um, a Dragon Dance, like, we know that Head Smash isn't really going to be doing a lot to Zygarde here. It gives me a Dragon Dance to uh, get rid of the Speed Drop. And then he brings in the Sneasel, which uh, is going to give me another Dragon Dance, because I needed the extra speed to make sure I outsped the Nido King. And um, at this point, I can just take uh, the Thousand Arrows to deal with everything else. 
Um, I, I take that ice shard because of my Yachi Berry, thank, thankfully. And I'm going to be faster than this Chandelure. And I'm going to be faster than this Nido King. And that means Zygarde's going to clean up, and it's going to be a 1-0 victory for me, which is um, pretty good in the end. Uh, there were some unlucky rolls that I got, uh, mainly with the Excadrill. Um, but I feel like um, we definitely played well, and... Um, Phantom Blade played really well as well. Uh, I was not really ready for the Melodic, um, but luckily Excadrill managed to deal with that pretty effectively. Um, Mega Pidgeot getting us some kills here, just uh, some cleaning up and um, just doing some damage as well, which is real nice. So I feel like the team I brought uh, put in the work where they needed to, but... Um, like, I don't know what I was thinking in prep when I didn't didn't bring anything for Melodic. I guess I was thinking maybe I'll get a Toxic off on it with Salazzle or something like that. Um, but like the Flame Orb set for Melodic is uh, pretty common. Um, so yeah, bit unfortunate. Um, a few unfortunate rolls for me, um, but we managed to bring it back with Zygarde in the end with some help from uh, Pidgeot. Um, prep for Melodic is something that I need to focus on, <laughs> or like making sure I prep for everything, because there's definitely been some times where I've uh, not prepped for something and it's been able to put in some real work against my team. Thankfully, we managed to work around that with the team I brought to, uh, this week. But uh, it's definitely something to look out for in the future. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week.